is finally here. Yes, baby, Corvus Glaive. He is in the game. And in this video, we are doing a few things. Opening some Red Star Orbs, opening some Corvus Glaive Orbs. We're going to rank him up, take him into battle, and I will give you my thoughts and let you know if he is worth it. And yeah, at the end, we are doing a giveaway for not one, but two of you to win some Corvus Glaive, baby. And if you're ready for it, you know what to do. Let's go smash it. Alley flying. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. This video is all about Corvus Glaive. We're going to do a few things with Corvus Glaive in this video. First, we are going to open my red star orbs, and hopefully we get lucky. Pull some Corvus Glaive. Get some red stars on this character. Yes, and then we are going to open some Corvus Glaive shards. We're going to buy... I bought a few of those packs. We're going to buy a few of those packs. We're going to open the shards, see how many we get, and you could determine for yourself if those shards are worth that money for you. We're going to rank them up. Then I'm going to come back tomorrow morning, and we are going to take him into battle. Yes, in Blitz. And uh, you guys could see some gameplay. You could see how well he interacts with Proxima Midnight and Thanos. And then I will give you my thoughts and let you know if he is worth it. And then we got a giveaway. Thanks to my brother, Busy. We are doing two giveaways because Corvus Glaive originally cost uh, 100 shards to unlock, and now he costs 45. Busy donated 50 bucks, so we are doing two gift card giveaways, and if you win, you get to choose iTunes or Google Play, and uh, yeah, so let's start this video, guys. Let's go open some Corvus Glaive. No, Red Star Orb shards. Let's go open them right now. All right, guys, been saving these up for a while here. We go. Red Star Orbs opening. Got 55 of these. Hopefully, I don't have to open all of these. Hopefully, I could save some for Cull Obsidian, but let's do this, guys. I'm a little scared. I, I don't like all this gambling in the game, but yeah, it's kind of a necessary evil if you want to build your characters up to a usable level. So let's go. Here we go. Here we go with it, guys. Boom. Oh, and I have not bought that Corvus Glaive offer yet, alluding to that, uh, that tinfoil hat theory to see you do better if you don't open them. All right, there's one. That was crap so far. Let's keep going with this. And it is still green. No, Symbiote Spider-Man. Not a bad character, but I really have uh, some shards of Symbiote spider or some red stars on Symbiote Spider-Man. Let's go again. And oh, it is green again. Not looking good. One star, Star-Lord. Let's keep going with this thing. We need some Corvus Glaive. 15% chance, and we have gotten nothing so far. It is another Hydra character. Duplicate one star. All du Hopefully we don't get all duplicates in this thing. Uh, this is this is uh, not a good. Oh, it is a Drax. Four star Drax. But alas, it is another duplicate. Let's see what we get here. And boom. We got, uh, oh man, another Hydra character. All duplicates so far. Nothing good. We have 49 more. Let's see. Hopefully this doesn't go too long with this opening here. Boom. It is Scarlet Witch. Boom. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It is more green. Oh, the drop rates don't seem like they have improved a lot. 15%. Come on. We needed some Corvus Glaive here. Oh, oh. So sad. So sad. Karnak going to be farmable soon in that Nexus campaign when it comes out. Boom. Oh, and we got a... Oh, oh, Black Bolt duplicate. Oh, I was getting excited. Maybe it was Corvus Glaive. Maybe we could have stopped. Save the rest for Call of City. There is Cyclops. I could use some more stars on him. I think I only have three stars on him. Three red stars on that character. So definitely need some love there. Oh, there is Corvus Glaive. Should we stop or should we keep going? We got two. We got two of these uh, four star elites. Maybe we should save these right now. Save these for Corvus Glaive. So let's go in and uh, open some of these elite guys. All right, let's see what we get here. Oh, actually, uh, I think I should have opened these before. Some of you guys have told me to open these Elite Fours before I do the uh, normal opening. So let's go do these now, actually. And let's see what we do in this uh, big opening. Ah, what do we get? It is a... I think it's a duplicate. I saw that thing change. Oh, it is four star. Nice. So that is super. Let's just open one more. So that is, that is exactly what I want. Some good luck there. Boom. And this will be the final one right here. And don't have enough for a five, but... Uh, Lots of hydras tonight, guys. What the heck is going on? All right, so that is it. Actually, uh, yeah, that is it for now. We will let's go. I'm gonna buy the Corvus Glaive offer right now, 
and uh, we're gonna open some orbs for Corvus Glaive. All right, all right, all right. We are back. 16 Corvus Glaive orbs. How lucky will I get? I bought two of these offers. I was he was originally a hundred shard unlock. Right now he is a 45 shard unlock. So I was planning to spend 50 bucks on Corvus Glaive. He is a member of the Black Order, so it should be the Apex Arena team. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if we get that elusive 180 drop, guys. Boom, first one. Oh, it is green. Not good. Six shards. Ugh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's keep going. Boom. It is a 10 shard unlock. Not the worst, but not the best. Need a different color there. Another 10. So, again, a double. Double uh, 10s right there. Oh, more green. Not good. Let's keep opening these. Boom. We got 12 left. Can we get a purple or or that elusive 180 for Corvus Glaive? Come on. Oh, it is another 10. So not doing too bad with the blues, but uh, I'd like a purple or a gold. Gold is what I really want. Oh, it is another green, though. It's another green. I hope we at least get him to three stars with this uh, orb. Oh, 20. Not bad. Not the worst. Not the worst. I do want that purple, though. Come on, cross my fingers. Give me some luck. Give me some luck for those purples. Boom. Uh... All right, that is another six. Oh, that is the worst drop possible, I think. Oh, another one. It is an eight. The second worst drop possible. We got six more of these. Six more of these. That rubbing my hands didn't do too well. So let's, let's just go. Uh-oh. Word it froze right there. It's another six. Oh, we are, we are not looking good, guys. Uh, I don't even know how much that added up to in my head, but it does not seem very good. It is another blue. It's a 20. Not bad. Not, not the worst of the blues, but... Uh, I still want a purple or a gold. We have not gotten a gold yet, guys. I really need one of these. Oh, let's see what happens. It is a 10. It is a 10. So not 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 one of those uh, greens, but three more of these to go. Come on. Oh, it's a, it's a gold one on the side. A 145 gold. That's not the worst thing. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Two more. Come on. Come on. We need some luck here. Oh, another green. Oh, man. Last one, last shot for 180 on this Corvus Glaive orb, and oh, it is another green. All right, so what does 100 bucks get you? Let's see. Boom. We got 144, so not bad, not bad. Got uh, that unlock right there. You guys let me know if you think 144 shards is worth 50 bucks. Uh, I'm going to build him up. Actually, let's, let's go do that now. Let's go unlock him right now. Uh, we're going to take these uh, red stars and put them on here. And then uh, we're going to build them up a little more. So there he is. Let's recruit him. Boom. So here is where I was able to build Corvus Glaive up to pretty decent level. Got him up to level 60. Eventually want to take him up to level 70 and pass that. But uh, yeah, saving some gold for these Symbiote Spider-Man milestones. But at least I was able to get his skills up to 6664. So I think that is the uh, basic minimum that you could get this character up to. And uh, obviously have those three gold stars that we pulled a little earlier, right? And the four red stars, but uh, won't get any shards for him until his blitz on April 30th. Uh, unless I get really impatient and spend some cores to get one of those orbs. But let's take a look at his skills because there are a few that I do want to put those T4s in. The first one I want to talk about is his basic shadow slash attacking the primary target for 160% piercing. So very similar to Proxima Midnight's uh, basic on there. He does piercing damage though but also clearing two positive effects and uh, very important, especially when you get that assist from Proxima, who's also clearing two positive effects. 50% chance to call that assist from Proxima, but goes up to 100% with that T4. So this is definitely a T4 that I want to invest in. And I also do want to do that T4 for Proxima now that Corvus is in the game. So two T4s uh, for this character right here, uh, one on Proxima. So I, I guess it kind of counts, but uh, yeah, let's let's move on to the special right here. It is called Bloodletting, attacking the most injured enemy for 360% piercing. Goes up to 400% piercing with that T4. You're going to ignore Taunt and Stealth, so kind of like a better version of Deadpool special because uh, you're also ignoring Stealth here. Uh, let's move on to the ultimate Grim Glaive, attacking the primary target for 280% piercing damage. So good stuff. Goes up to 320% piercing damage right there uh, with that T4. During stealth, this ability deals double damage against the primary target if they have defense up. Uh, attacking all adjacent targets for 200% piercing. So kind of want a way to use this skill to the target has defense up and Corvus Glaive is in stealth to get the maximum amount of damage during that. So... Uh, yeah, that, that uh, is a good skill. Not sure if either of these are really worthy of T4s unless you're heavily, heavily investing 
in uh, Corvus Glaive and that full Black Order team. But let's look and look at his passive on spawn offense up for two turns. So that is good on an ally Thanos this turn. If he does not have the Mind Stone, grant him the Mind Stone and offense up for two turns. This character can only do this once per match when an enemy or this character drops below 50% health, gaining stealth up to a maximum of two. While in stealth, gaining 20% critical chance, goes up to 40% critical chance with that T4. So that, that looks pretty good. You're gaining a 20% crit damage as well when this character is in stealth. And you're gaining 20% extra damage, 30% with that T4. And Black Order and Thanos allies are gaining 20% damage, 30% with that T4. So this is a T4 that I definitely want to do. Uh, so the basic and the passive of Corvus Glaive. And then going back to that basic of Proxima Midnight as well. Let's go take this guy into some Blitz and uh, see see what he can do. See how he performs in battle. All right, here we are, 8.0 of Blitz. And uh, this is the team I'm working with here. Obviously, Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight is that duo that you want to keep together. Thanos is there because he is Thanos. And uh, yes, they, he gets some bonuses from the rest of the Black Order. Kingpin, Hand Sentry, neither of them have a team. Hand Sentry, I think, is needed on this team just to give it a little more survivability, get those evades up and running because these, this character is very, very squishy right now. And Kingpin doesn't have a home either. He has some villain assists that he can uh, do with his passive, and he gives the team offense and defense up. So pretty good matchup. Going against the defenders right here, minus... Daredevil. None of these other matchups would look very appealing. A X-Men minus Phoenix. And uh, there are other... You know, this is not a win. So let, let's go in and see how they do. You can judge for yourself. We'll do some animations at 1x speed. And you guys can see how he does in battle. All right, here we are. And hopefully I remember to 1x speed every time Proxima has a move. Excuse me. Excuse uh, As soon as Corvus has a move. Let's start with some offense down from Proxima. And let's get those evades up. Putting him into stealth, which actually worked pretty good with this kit. I probably am going to save this ultimate till somebody has defense uh, uh, defense up. So he gets a little more damage there. Let's go with this basic and see. Actually, uh, let's go with Iron Fist there. Let's see if we can get that assist. This is a 50% chance without that T4. And let's see if we can get Proxima to attack as well. Doing a little extra damage. Uh, yes, he gets the assist. Not sure if that was from the passive of Kingpin or if that was just the assist that they do naturally with their kit. Would be interesting to see once both those T4s are on that kit, see if they would uh, have double, double hits from those characters. All right, let's see if we can take out Iron Fist here and reduce the healing of this Defenders team. And Thanos coming with the heat right there with his offense up, getting a little extra damage as well from both of their passives. Now we got to try to take out Punisher right here. Let's see if we could uh, reduce some. Actually, you know what? Let's reduce this. Uh, no, let's let's get some. Let's get some of these blocks off of Luke Cage just so we could get a test of the ultimate with uh, when Corvus Glaive takes his turn. So let's do the basic right here. So we can remove that defense up and that death proof. There we go. And we got an assist from Corvus Glaive. Let's get that offense and defense up from Pun uh, from Kingpin. And let's see if we could get that move from uh, Corvus Glaive on his next turn. We got some heal, healing from Thanos with this big AOE attack. And now we could do a test and see if we could do uh, this. I want to attack Punisher with Corvus Glaive's move with this ultimate right there. There we go. He has that defense up. Let's see if this does some pretty good damage. Boom. All right, he is in stealth as well. So 3,100 and then a little L 11 on um, Night Nurse. Not not insane, but for a three-star character, not that bad. Not that bad right there. All right, so we are going to reduce the speed bar and stun Luke Cage there with Proxima Midnight Boom. Oh, killing him? No, no, I, I was getting over. I was getting a little overzealous right there, but very low health. This team is kind of walking through these guys right here. But again, this is, this is a team at 8.0. Let's reduce some speed. Uh, I mean, uh, offense. Offense downing uh, Punisher. Luke Cage, Night Nurse, and it's actually killing the Punisher right here. Hopefully, Corvus Glaive will get another hit. And we could uh, see the animations for... There we go. And we're going to go after uh, Night Nurse right here because that is the lowest health enemy right there. Boom. See how the animations look. Oh, looking pretty nice right there. And I think we are on auto territory, but let's see if we can get a few more animations from Proxima and Corvus. 
before we end out this battle. Boom, there is one of these uh, Merc bodyguards from Kingpin attacking Night Nurse. Does this finish her off? Oh, there is the villain assist. That, that I like that passive of Punisher with this team right there. Boom. All right, I think we can throw this in auto at this point. Jessica Jones, no match for the uh, three Black Order characters and Punisher and uh, Hand Sanitary. Oh, throwing everybody in stealth and giving them evade. There is another animation. I think that is the basic. I'm not sure. All right. Boom, Jessica Jones attacking. And oh, I probably should have put this on high graphics mode, but I am playing on Blue Stacks low graphics mode uh, right now just to speed up the game. But uh, there is a link for Blue Stacks if you want to check that out. And there it goes, Jessica Jones. Approximate midnight finishing off. So, oh no, I like this team. But let me know what you think of this full black order team now that we have another member added to the squad. Still don't have that full squad yet. It's gonna be a little while before Culbson and Ebony Ma are in the game. But let me know what you think of these guys so far. Personally, I like Corvus Glaive. I think he's a great character with Proxima Midnight. And uh, I like the synergy that these two characters have together, especially with their basics. And once uh, the reset rolls around, I'm gonna be uh, investing in both of their basics with those T4s. I think it's gonna help that team. And I think uh, both of their passives are going to help that team as well. Both of them give bonuses to that entire team. It's going to make that team a little bit better. But now it's time to answer the question, guys. Is he worth it? And if you're afraid of Light Flare, I don't think this is a character that is worth uh, changing that status for. I don't think just individually as a character he does enough so if you're free to play I, yeah, you're probably going to stay free to play and if you're a whale on the opposite end of the spectrum I, I don't need to tell you what to do you guys going to purchase uh, every single character that comes out and, and you probably have uh, your Corvus Glaive at 7 stars right now because you can purchase those orbs in the store right now so uh, it is all the other in between players some players that selectively purchase characters and uh, it, it's going to come down to the rest of the Black Order and Ebony Maw. If you know you are on pace to purchase, to unlock Ebony Maw, it might be worth that purchase to unlock Corvus Glaive right now, just so you could get a little extra shards on him, especially if you're a person that doesn't like to blitz. He has a couple blitzes coming up in a few weeks, so uh, you can get some shards there, potentially unlock him if you are a blitz player. But uh, yes, if, if you are on track to get Ebony Maw, I think it's definitely worth that investment and if you already have Proxa Med Midnight, I think it's also worth that investment because they have some strong synergy with each other. Maybe not on a full Black Order team, but just using those two characters together, I think will yield you some very good results. But if you're not on pace to unlock Ebony Maw this time, if you don't have Proxa Med Midnight or a very strong Proxa Med Midnight and don't plan on building her, I don't think this is a character that uh, has enough standalone value to justify that purchase. So if you're going to get Ebony Ma or have Proxima Midnight, I think it is worth it. But if you're just going to use Cordis Glaive or intending on using him as a standalone character, no, not worth it, especially with these low red stars. And especially now that you cannot purchase uh, these red stars for Corvus Glaive in the store if you don't get lucky with these red star orbs. But guys... Now, it is the moment that you have been waiting for. Let's go pick a winner of this contest. Boom. We are going to the pick the YouTube random comment picker. So let's enter the URL for the video right here. We're going to filter to duplicate users. So if you've entered multiple hashtags in the same account, then uh, you, uh, you only get one entry. So the hashtag was hashtag busy rules so let's see how many we get i know i did over a thousand i have manually approved over a thousand comments this morning and it took a while because you can only do 20 at a time so uh there are a lot of them let's see how many get filtered out there are 1160 so a lot of you guys entered normally there's only like a couple hundred so one in 11 actually two in 1160 chance right here let's see what happens who is the first winner Boom, and coming up for the first winner is going to be Stathis Tompazes. So, uh, yes, congratulations, brother. And sorry, I probably butchered your name, but you did win. Busy rules. The reworks in Red Stars are awesome now. I think this was uh, left a few weeks ago before we got the full spectrum of these uh, this Red Star rework. But, uh, yeah, some of, some of the things uh, were good. I, I especially like that power curve 
All right, one more winner. We are going to pick another one. And uh, boom, the next winner is, and I hope I don't butcher your name, it is Ryan Seedler. Great episode, Busy Rules. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Ryan. All right. So how do you claim your prize? So both of you guys need to leave a comment on this video so I can verify the account. And then we'll reach out to each other either uh, via email or on some social media or, any, or something like that. I will get your uh, information there and get your email and email you the code. You let me know what you want. If you want a Google Play or an iTunes gift card, 25 bucks to each of you guys. Thanks to Busy. So boom, there it is, guys. Congratulations to our winners. And hopefully this video helps you to make a determination whether you want to purchase Corvus Glaive or not. Is he going to be a valuable asset to your roster? given where you are in unlocking Ebony Maw and uh, where your proximate midnight is. That is going to be up to you. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Smash on the like button. Join the notification squad. Ring that bell, guys. You will be notified every time I upload a new video. And I'm going to upload at least four Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. So, yes, much, much more content coming. And I will see you guys next time. Check out some of the links down below. Oh, Blue Stacks Patreon. There's, there's some good stuff down there and some, some Valley merch as well. Check me out on social media and I will see you guys next time. Hulk fist bump, baby! Valley Blind, I'm...